All right, guys, we just got back from town. It is snowing like crazy out right now. It's uh, 10.30 at night. So I'm gonna step out and let's go take a look. Look at this. Isaiah and Ashton are out here throwing snowballs, having the first snowball fight of the year. Look at this. All right, well, I've got to get my wire hooked up here. I hope I'm close enough to this outlet. So what do you think of the first snow of the year? Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Ashton, please don't. Ashton, please don't. I'm not you, really. I'm not I, there's no, no. I'm not really no. Stop. 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 Hey guys, I'm getting ready to try some fresh roasted coffee. It's a special blend. Wow, it's really good. Compliments of my daughter Arwen. There's a uh, buck out there. Just, uh, we're sitting here eating some breakfast and I just noticed out the window, buck out there in the snow. I'd say he's taking refuge in the city. right there he is huge he's beautiful it's right over there just jumps over that fence like it's nothing well I guess I'm on a, uh, a walk now make my way back to the bus So what you're seeing behind us right now is our children playing volleyball. They've got Elisha holding the net and Arwen and Ashton are playing each other. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Elisha's like, I'm done. You'll notice like over here <laughs> and over here, these are the boundaries, Yeah. you know? <laughs> and then they have, like Ashton's doing the victory dance. <laughs> she so you just spiked it. Just spiked the ball. <laughs> so this is what the good kids do. They're very innovative children. All right guys, so we are preparing for the coming blizzard. I don't know if it's gonna be a blizzard or not, but there's some really cold weather. It will be the coldest we've ever endured in our new bus. Um, it's supposed to be around anywhere between zero to five Fahrenheit. We're cutting some wood right now. I kind of want to show you guys how we cut wood for our cubic mini fireplace. I've got my chop saw set up, which seems to work the best. And we just got, you know, regular sized pieces of firewood. And we're just cutting them into thirds.
lots of snow is on its way to us. Isn't it, baby? What, you want down? Enya is enjoying the freedom of being able to traverse around this yard. Aren't you, baby girl? Nice view here. Take a look at the mountain. I know on camera it's not as grand, but it's quite massive from where I'm standing. Dad, Daddy. All right, guys, I know a lot of you out there are freaked out by spiders. But these are the only spiders that I won't kill. These are like the little jumping spiders and actually very good to keep around your home or your bus because these little guys kill flies and, in, and little bugs and gnats and things like that. And it's actually kind of fun because if they, sometimes you'll find them around your windows and if you get a fly and injure it and kind of put it by them, you'll watch him like attack them. I know a lot of you guys are freaked out, but these guys, they're not like normal creepy spiders. And they actually look around and they'll look at you. Like he's, he's looking up right now at me. Um, so they tend to have more, <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, more personality than just like a creepy black widow spider. So whatever you may think about spiders, these little guys are actually a help around the house. And they're nothing to be afraid of. He's gonna. Oh, he oh. jumped on the camera. Oh, he went to jump on the camera. Yeah, he did, and it just hit the lens. He did. So as you can see, the weather is upon us, and it's just gonna be getting worse each day that goes by. It is 19 Fahrenheit out right now, and it's about 10:30 in the evening. Look how bright it is. Every time it snows. It is very bright here. It's kind of cool because you can see as though it's like dusk. You know, you, you can see out here. Monday is going to be, the lows are going to be 14 Fahrenheit. Tuesday, the lows are going to be 8 Fahrenheit. Wednesday, the lows are going to be 2 Fahrenheit. We've never been in weather this cold in our bus. We're very interested to see how this is gonna work, how it's gonna go. Another thing I did was put a, a little heater in our bays. I have it set all the way to low, but right now I just checked them. They're like 65 degrees in the bays. So it's staying plenty warm. We're staying plenty warm right now in the bus, but we don't know what the next few days are gonna hold. We're gonna keep you guys updated and bring you along this adventure of surviving the cold weather in a bus conversion. Really doesn't feel that bad out right now. Let's go into our nice cozy bus. All right guys, so we got a lot more snow this morning. It's about 19 Fahrenheit, 20 Fahrenheit out right now. Lots of snow. Last night we stayed nice and warm. So the true test will be not tonight or tomorrow, but Wednesday night. Thank you. 
guys. So you're witnessing what we're doing on this very cold day. 12 degrees Fahrenheit. 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Got our little cubic mini wood stove going over here, putting out some serious heat. Um, got a decent supply of wood ready for this cold. It's going to be very cold tonight, like 6 Fahrenheit tonight. Some of the things that we're doing to kind of give us a bit more insulation because of the extreme cold. You know, we got real big windows he over here and over here. I went to Home Depot and we bought some of this um, and it's supposed to actually give you some extra R value. So we bought a big roll of that from Home Depot, it's like 45 bucks. Cut a bunch of it out to fit over a lot of our windows. Um, like you can see right, right here, that's, you know, that stuff there. And we did it on this side over here, the front windows. Um, the windows in our back room and I think we're definitely noticing a difference It's it's staying warm in here. Also, I've got my my fan going That there's an intake that I put in when I did the bus conversion right above our fireplace And there's a pipe that runs back below the fridge right here and I, I've got a switch in actually Elisha's uh, bunk I can turn on and it sucks the hot air from the fireplace and kind of blows it back there. So it's kind of spreading that. And then of course we have this going, um, which has a heat pump in it. So it's staying very warm in here. It says it's 77 in here right now. It's almost too warm. <laughs> The only uh, downside is with all the breathing and then making food and tea and stuff like that, there's a lot of um, humidity in the air. And actually with the snow outside, there's a lot of humidity in the air. And so the windows sweat really bad. So usually like what, three, maybe five times a day, we're having to go around and wipe all the windows and just get all the water off. There's some spots in the back, I gotta get especially in our room where we're going to have to repair some of the wood because it's gotten so wet. One thing that we've noticed with this stuff is it seems as though this reduces the condensation actually on the glass itself. And this actually stays dry, so that reduces um, the amount of condensation in the bus. Outside I built um, a I'm not going to say right now, but I'm going to finish it a little later. And it's outside, shaped like a house right now, not fully done, it's just shaped like the house. Alright guys, so it is 10 Fahrenheit out. Crazy, crazy cold, so cold I'm not going to stand out here very long, but wanted to give another update. It's going to get pretty cold tonight. We're still staying warm in the bus, but some of the windows have ice around them on the inside, we're noticing. Got our fireplace going. So far the bays are staying above freezing, which is great. But it is cold out here, oh my gosh. So the whole family's in the bus. So, on Belton Tuesday, this is how many pieces we need. Take this rope, and then we Made that all by yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whew. Can you feel the cold seeping through your screen right now? Seeping through. It's 14 Fahrenheit out right now and we're bracing ourselves for the coming cold. So we're on the uh, ski slopes right now, and Arwen's gonna attempt standing on a sled and going down. Let's see how this uh, goes. Daddy? Woo! <laughs> do one, quick. Yeah, let's do this one. <laughs> oh no, that didn't work out. 
it's gonna get as low as zero Fahrenheit. The weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. It's nice and warm in there, I'm gonna go enjoy it. So this is it. This is the coldest we have ever been in our bus conversion. It is currently eight Fahrenheit out right now. Very cold. This is it, this is the coldest it's gonna get. What's crazy is from this point on, it's gonna just start warming up and tomorrow it's gonna be above freezing. I mean, just, this is <laughs> Colorado weather for you. And I mean, what's great about that kind of weather is you get a taste of the winter and then you get to go back into, you know, some more normal warmer temperatures and then it'll dip down again and it'll do this throughout the winter. So um, it's, uh, it's been an interesting experience for us. No major issues with the bus at all. The only issue mainly is condensation. Uh, the spray foam that we did on the bus has definitely helped tremendously. The floors still get cold, so I may in the future put one, get one more kit and do, you know, uh, a whole nother run under the entire bus. But everything's doing great. Our bays are doing great. They're staying above freezing, well above freezing, which is good. And uh, yeah, we're surviving. And I tell you what, being out here in this cold, it's you can feel it in your lungs. You almost flash freeze your lungs. But it's um, we're doing great, and the bus has done great. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. All right guys, so just like that, it's warming up again. Today, it's supposed to get up to in the 40s. Can you believe it? So that super extreme cold we had last night, it stayed at six Fahrenheit for like hours. So we now know that it's possible to be in sub-freezing temperatures in a bus conversion. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, subscribe and also click the bell so you get notified when we have new videos coming out. Also, we're on social media. I've got all those links in the video description. Be sure to leave us a comment as well. And we got our new merch available that has the, the picture of the front of our new bus. Check that out. I've also got the link for that in the video description. Have a great blessed day. Stay safe, bye.